Hey, what's up you guys? For those of you who are new here, my name is Emily and I created this channel to teach you guys all about cloth diapers. I had quite a few people who were interested so I figured I'd start a video series. If you're interested in watching my first video about why I cloth diaper and my reasons for doing it, you can click the link below or um, up here on the screen somewhere. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about different types of cloth diapers and the pros and cons for each of them. So hopefully if you're interested in cloth diapering your child, you'll get a good idea of the different types of diapers out there and what your options are and what might work best for your family. So if you're interested in learning about these diapers, keep watching. If you guys have any questions that I didn't answer in this video today, please put them down below and I will be happy to answer them in another video or um, reply back to your questions because I'm sure I'm going to miss something. So the way that this video is gonna be laid out is I'm going to talk about the most basic diaper all the way down to the most advanced diaper. This way, there is a diaper there for everyone and you get a good idea of what each diaper entails. So the very first thing I wanna mention before I talk about any specific diaper is the fact that almost every diaper that I mentioned here today will be available in the option of either um, snaps or Velcro. And by that I mean some diapers you can use Velcro or Aplex to secure it onto your um, onto your baby. And this is important to know because a lot of people um, may see Velcro and think, wow, that is just like a disposable diaper. It really is. It's as simple as just securing it onto a baby as you would a disposable because disposables use a similar um, technique to secure the diaper onto the baby. However, this is much stronger than a, uh, than a disposable diaper and it won't come off as easy. I'm tugging pretty hard on this and it's not coming off. So um, that's a good thing. Um, a con to this I would say is the fact that um, when your babies do get older um, and they start moving around and whatnot, they will learn how to take this off. I mean, just like they would learn how to take off a disposable diaper, they can definitely learn how to take this off. So personally, I don't use these anymore. Um, however, they were great for um, when my son was a newborn and when he was being babysat or brought to daycare, it was very easy to teach someone how to put this kind of diaper on versus showing them how to put snaps um, and where to line the snaps up. Another con about this type of closure, I would say is the fact that over time, um, the Velcro or the Aplex can wear and tear. So basically it means that as you wash them, um, it might become less sticky, um, you might get lint on it, so it's harder for it to stick to itself. And with that being said, each brand has their own type of Velcro material. And some brands, I do have to admit, have better Velcro than other brands. And um, just like this brand here, you see that there's a little tab here. This is so that you can stick it on when the diaper is not being used and when you throw it in the laundry now you're not going to have the velcro sticking to the clothes or the other diapers so this is a very important piece of information because if your diaper does not have one of these your velcro is not going to last very long whatsoever because it's going to be sticking to everything and catching onto all the lint of um, everything else that's in that um, wash cycle so that is why I don't really use Velcro anymore. However, it is very convenient for some people and a lot of people love Velcro. The second closure that I wanna talk about is snaps. So they're put onto the diaper so that you can basically button your diaper closed. And this, I really, really, really like snaps because my son is not getting these off. I mean, he could probably eventually get them off when he's older, but it's much more difficult and more awkward for them to pull on this versus pull on um, Velcro. So um, this isn't coming off. Um, a con to this would be is the fact that you have to learn how to place the um, diaper on the baby because you can't just willy-nilly throw it on and, and Velcro it shut you have to line up you know, the snaps on the tab to the snaps on the front of the diaper in order for it, you to get a secure fit. 
Um, that's definitely important to know how to do because if your diaper is too loose on the baby or it's not snapped correctly, you can get leaks and things like that and that you don't want that. So with practice, um, you will definitely be able to learn how to um, secure this onto the baby. I'm making it sound much harder than it really is, I promise you. Now, the second thing that I want to talk about is the fact that these diapers do come in um, multiple sizes. Now, you can buy newborn diapers, which are good for babies um, that are newborns, um, and then you can also buy one size diapers. And what one size diapers are is basically a diaper that is supposed to fit the baby from the time they were born all the way up to the time they're potty trained. And that is what I'm going to be showing you guys today. All the diapers I'm going to be showing today are one size diapers because um, my newborn diapers are packed away right now and I'll put newborn, um, I'll talk about newborn diapers in another video. So with one size diapers, um, just like there are snaps to secure the diaper closed, there are also snaps to um, set the rise setting. And what a rise setting is, is the setting the size of the diaper. So you would want the smallest setting for when the baby's a newborn and then the largest setting for the, when the baby is older. So even with Velcro diapers, you will have these three rows of snaps. And I can show you that here on this one. You see there are snaps. Both of these diapers are snapped all the way open and that is um, the largest size for these diapers. So my son right now weighs, I think like 25 pounds and I believe he was about 20 pounds when I opened up all the snaps. For the smallest setting, all you're gonna do is take the top snap and snap it shut like that. And then you're gonna do it for all three. So now you can see there are no snaps visible because they're, they're snapped to the smallest setting and now the diaper is much smaller than this one. I don't know if you guys can tell, hold on. So now the diaper is much smaller in size. Um, it's probably kind of hard to tell on the camera but it is definitely a lot smaller. Yeah, it's definitely really hard to tell. Um, so another thing, when you are snapping this shut, you wanna make sure the extra fabric is pushed up. So there's like these two little openings. You wanna shove your finger in there and just push that fabric up because then you will be able to get the best fit. If the fabric is down, so if it's pushed down like that, you're gonna have extra fabric over here on the side and it's gonna create leg gaps like you see that how it's like that it's going to create some leg gaps so you want to make sure it's pushed up that is probably the number one um, issue i see when people are trying to put cloth diapers on a baby and they think the diaper doesn't fit and it's all the way on the smallest setting um, it's most likely because they're not pushing that fabric up so to put it onto the medium rise setting you would just snap the top snaps to the second row and that is how you size the diaper for every um, one size diaper. They're all the same, they're all gonna have three rows. Now that you guys know about Velcro and snaps and the rise settings on one size diapers, we can finally talk about different types of diapers. So the first type of diaper I'm gonna talk about is the easiest, most convenient diaper on the market that you can buy, and it is called an all-in-one diaper. And what an all-in-one diaper is, is exactly what it says is uh, an all-in-one diaper. So what that means is all the absorbency is already sewn into the diaper in one way or another. Um, so the first diaper I'm going to show you is that same diaper. This is from Thirsties, and the way they do their all-in-one diapers is they just sew this tongue into the actual shell of the diaper and this is what's absorbing all of the, um, the pee and catching um, the poo. This is kind of cool because one of the cons of all-in-one diapers is that they take forever to dry. And that's simply because it's normally sewn all the way around 
the um, diaper, leaving no room for airflow. But because this is sewn all only at the top of the diaper, this allows for more airflow. So when you hang it to dry, or if you prefer to put them in the dryer, um, it is going to dry a lot faster because it allows for that airflow. So that's why I like um, all-in-one diapers that have a tongue. However, a con to this is that um, it's not that absorbent. I mean, this is just one piece of um, absorbent fa fabric, which is, I believe this is microfiber, and you can't really customize it. The only thing that you can really do is put a doubler on top, so basically another piece of fabric um, or, or an insert of some sort and put it directly on top and then secure it to the baby, but chances are it's gonna be too bulky and cause leg gaps. At least that's what um, I experienced. So I like these all-in-one diapers for when the baby is smaller and is not peeing as much as a bigger baby would. Another um, pro to these diapers is that they require no stuffing. They're easy to put on, so it's just like a disposable diaper, essentially. You have no work that you need to do on your part, so you can just put it on the baby and throw it in the wash and take it out of the dryer or take it for off of the drying line and it is good to go um, versus other diapers they require a little bit more work so these are i would definitely say that these are babysitter or daycare friendly um, for the fact that they don't have to do much work another con to these diapers is that they because everything is sewn in and provided for you they do cost more than other diapers. So they are a bit on the pricier side. The second all-in-one diaper I wanna show you is this um, diaper from Grovia. And there are moms out there who swear by this diaper. Um, they love them because they are so trim. If you notice how thin this diaper is compared to this one here, um, peop a lot of moms love that because it's just gonna fit on their, their little booties a little better and their clothes are gonna fit, fit, fit better over it. So what this diaper looks like on the inside is it's basically the same concept. It's sewn in and it allows for airflow except it comes with this extra little soaker here that snaps off of the diaper and you can snap it back in. And this is cool because it gives you a little bit more of a chance to customize the absorbency. So if you had a newborn, you could essentially just use this one um, because they're not going to be making um, th because they're not going to be peeing as much as maybe a toddler. And then for toddlers, you might want to put the extra one. One of the things I don't like about this diaper in particular is the fact that um, I don't find it to be very absorbent um, for my son. But a lot of moms, like I said, love it. One of the things that I like about this diaper is the fact that the snaps are on the side. So um, when your babies do become um, strong enough or smart enough to take off their diaper, it is much harder for them to reach all the way to the side of their diaper to pull at it versus in the front like that. The third diaper that I wanna to talk to you guys about is this diaper here. Um, this is a happy flute diaper, I believe, and I like this diaper um, for nighttime. It is an all-in-one, however, the materials used inside of it um, are very absorbent. Um, but I really just wanna show you this diaper for the structuring purposes. The fact that this has two of those tongues on each side versus just one on one side. It makes it um, very customizable to be able to um, customize it for my son because he needs the most absorbency in the front and he is a, like a belly sleeper. So with belly sleepers, the um, moisture is definitely gonna sit more towards the front area. So I really like that this diaper has this little flap right here, which is um, PUL, so it's, it's a waterproof um, lining. It prevents the moisture from wicking outside of the diaper and getting onto the clothing. Um, and then I also really like that I can take this flap right here and fold it in half and stick it right in the front so that I have that extra little bunch of absorbency. Now a con to this diaper is the fact that it does take a little bit longer to dry um, and it is very bulky. If you look at it compared to this one, it is just so bulky even compared to this one. So it's a very large diaper. Um, but it is so worth it for nighttime. Like this is bulletproof. He does not leak whatsoever in this. Um, 
and it holds a lot. The last all-in-one diaper that I want to talk to you guys about is this um, brand called Ecoable, and it looks like this, so it looks very similar to the other diapers. However, um, everything is sewn inside. So you, you can't even see the, um, there's no tongue or anything. So with this diaper, I really like it because it gives you the option to have a pocket in the back. So with the pocket, I can stuff an extra insert in there to make it more absorbent. So although most all-in-one diapers are not customizable with the absorbency because the materials are sewn in, this one allows for some customization. Um, and another thing is I like that I can um, flip it inside. I can turn the whole diaper inside out when it's drying. So it'll dry a little bit faster. And then I also really like the materials that are in this one. It's the charcoal bamboo. Um, so it's a little bit more absorbent than just um, microfiber. So I like that. Now the second diaper type that I'm going to talk to you guys about are um, all in twos and hybrids. Now I'm pairing these two together because they're so similar, but don't mistake me. They are different types of diapers. Um, the first one I'm going to talk to you about is called a hybrid. Now this is from the brand Grovia and what a hybrid basically is, is um, it gives you the option to have a snap-in insert um, that you can reuse or you can buy disposable insert pads and stick them inside, take it off, throw it away and be done with it like you would a disposable. However, um, it, it's a little bit cheaper because you have the, the um, shells to put it in. So the inside of this particular um, hybrid diaper looks like mesh and has these two snaps right here and here. So one in the front, one in the back. And what you do is you take the insert that looks like this and this is brand specific. So you have to buy the insert um, that the brand sells for this particular shell. You can't just use any insert unless you don't want to snap it in. You can lay one in if you want. But um, this has the snaps, so the larger side is gonna go to the butt. So this is larger, this is smaller. And this is gonna go on the butt, and you're just gonna snap it in. And then you're gonna snap the front in, like that. And now you have a diaper to put on the baby. There are pros and cons to this diaper, just like any other diaper. Um, some of the pros is the fact that you can reuse the cover. Uh, multiple times so if once the baby goes on the insert you can take it out and you can wipe the inside down with a wipe or um, some soap and water and you can let this air dry or if it doesn't need to be wiped because there nothing got onto it um, you could just take a new insert and you can snap it in so that makes this diaper a little bit more cost effective and um, cheaper in the long run if you choose to do that route um, the other way that you can use this diaper is obviously taking the um, the disposable insert. So it basically looks like a pad, like a, a giant maxi pad, and you take off the little um, sticky, the little paper here to make it stick, and you literally just stick it in the diaper, and it'll stick there. And when they're done with it, you can take it off and throw it in the trash. Um, a con to these is the fact that you would have to buy more just like a disposable diaper um, and I don't think that these are very absorbent. Um, I've had leaks with them and I just don't like them. That's why I have like a million left over. Um, however, I will use them if we travel um, and we're going to go on vacation or we're going to go visit family or something. I will bring some of these just because they're um, it's smaller in size to travel with than a whole bunch of cloth diapers. So. They're, they have their use. Another pro to these diapers is the fact that they are pretty trim. So once the insert is inside, it really isn't all that bulky. And Grovy is kind of known for being um, having their trimmer diapers. So it's not that bulky compared to other diapers. Um, let's see. So like this nighttime diaper and then this all-in-one diaper, they're about the same. So, um, it's really not that much, but a con to this would be the fact that you can't um, customize the absorbency unless you were to just lay another um, piece of um, fabric, absorbent fabric on top. 
um, and then secure it to the baby. But a lot of people don't like to do that because it will make it more bulky and it will um, it might move around or stick out the sides and cause wicking. Another con to this diaper that I don't like is that it doesn't have that waterproof layer here in the front to stop the wicking from getting onto the baby's clothes if they were sleeping or something or taking a nap. However, I just won't reach for these at night um, for that reason. So I'll just use these in the daytime. Um, another pro would be that these dry really fast because you can take it apart. This will literally dry in like an hour um, or less. I leave these out to air dry and then these can dry in the dryer in one um, in one cycle. So versus some other um, inserts, it will take a couple more times. And I think that has to do with the fact that there's like this opening right here, so it allows for airflow even if you were to not use the dryer and put it out on the on a rack. Um, and then it this is also um, my microfiber essentially, so microfiber does dry pretty fast. The second diaper is called an all-in-two, so that was a hybrid. Um, and this is an all-in-two. This is another diaper from uh, Grovia. And the reason why this is not a hybrid is because you cannot use a disposable insert in it. So that's what um, makes the difference between a hybrid and all-in-two. So an all-in-two is a diaper that has a snap-in insert, just like this, and a shell. So it allows for faster drying time, um, essentially. And then this specific diaper comes with two snap-in inserts. So that's kind of cool because it allows for more customization for absorbency. Um, these are known to be uh, Grovia's overnight diapers. A lot of people will use these for overnight because they are extremely absorbent. Um, another thing you can do with them, just like I did with the other ones, is fold that second insert in half and put it in the front of the diaper. So that's kind of cool. Uh, another thing a lot of people like about this diaper is the option um, that you can have Velcro or snaps. And now this is the only diaper that I've personally seen on the market with that option. So I've never seen another diaper where you can choose um, Velcro or snaps. And what I mean by that is it comes with this layer here that snaps onto the snaps itself. So you could either take it off and use the diaper as snaps or you can put it together and use it as Velcro. And then the tabs here also come with it and they just snap right on. So that is um, this particular hybrid diaper. There are other hybrid diapers out there, but um, these are the only ones that I personally have. The next diaper that I'm gonna talk to you guys about is called a pocket diaper. A pocket diaper is a diaper that is two parts, a shell and an insert, and it has a pocket in the back. Just like that all-in-one I showed you, except this has no um, material sewn inside. So this is gonna dry very fast, just like the hybrid diapers, they dry very fast. Um, so a con to this is the fact that you would have to take the insert and stuff it inside the diaper anytime you wanted to use it. So what I do is I just take all my diapers after they've been washed and after they're dry, I just, I fold my diapers. So by folding my diapers, I mean I'm stuffing inserts and I'm putting them together like this and putting them away in their um, baskets. So that is um, what a lot of people don't like about this diaper because it takes time to stuff. And if you um, are in a hurry and you need a babysitter for the night and you don't have diapers stuffed already because you've been procrastinating on you know, stuffing all the diapers, then um, the babysitter might have some trouble if you just give the diaper to them like this, you know what I mean? So. Um, but you can easily avoid that by just pre-stuffing all your diapers and not procrastinating. So um, I really like these because you can customize the absorbency. You put multiple layers of inserts in them and they will become more absorbent depending on the types of inserts that you put inside. However, most pocket diapers come with microfiber, um, which isn't the most absorbent, but it's great to have. I love them. Um, but you will want to buy um, separate inserts most likely if you want them to last um, more than a half hour or an hour. I actually use a lot of my pocket diapers for nighttime because of the specific inserts that I put inside. 
They, may, they do get more bulky depending on the inserts that you use or how many you're using, but that's why I'll use it for nighttime because I don't care if it's bulky. Um, he's not running around or anything like that, um, and he doesn't have you know, cute pants that he's wearing. Uh, he just has his jammies on and it doesn't really matter what he looks like. So um, that's why I like to use the pocket diapers for that, for nighttime. But I also do use them during the daytime. I just use different inserts inside them. Pros to this is they can be babysitter friendly if they're pre-stuffed, but if they're not, then they're not babysitter friendly. Um, and they're customizable you can customize the absorbency and they dry really fast because you're going to put um the inserts in the dryer most likely and then you'll hang dry these and like i said they're it's going to dry in like an hour top so a uh, con to this would be that it takes a while to stuff the diapers you have to set aside that time to um stuff them and another con would be that they can become bulky if you put too many inserts inside um and you have to kind of be careful with that because then it could cause leg gaps and stuff like that. So um, play around with it and you'll find um, what you like best for your baby and what works best for you and your baby. The next diaper that I'm gonna talk about are called fitted diapers. Fitted diapers are essentially um, all-in-one diapers. However, they do not have a waterproof outside. So all of those diapers I showed you have some sort of um, material making it um, waterproof. So they all basically use what's called PUL, and PUL is a waterproof lining on the outside of the diaper. Just like all-in-ones, there are multiple different types of fitted diapers. Um, here are a couple. You can tell that it is fabric. So these are um, three that I'm gonna show you. So these um, are great for overnight use because they, are, they can be very, very absorbent because if the whole diaper is fabric, the whole diaper is gonna be used as what's absorbing all of that, that pee throughout the night. Um, however, they can be extremely bulky, so I prefer not to use them during the daytime. I don't need that much absorbency anyways, um, but they're great for nighttime because the bulkiness won't really matter. Um, so the first one that I wanna talk to you about is um this one it's i think this is a thirsties no sorry this is um this is a rumper ruse brand and this one's kind of different because it has a pocket so it's not an all-in-one um type of fitted but it comes with these inserts on the inside and these things are super absorbent like they're 50 percent bamboo and 20 percent cotton 30 percent polyester so I don't know what it is about that combination, but they are so absorbent and they're really soft too. So um, what I don't like about this diaper though is the opening to stuff them is really small. So it's kind of hard for me to get my hand and the inserts in there. I don't know, it's, it's just difficult to stuff. So I'm honestly, I don't use this diaper. However, when I was first starting out and I got it, I I liked it because it was my first fitted diaper. You see, I'm still trying to stuff this diaper. Oh my God. So, but that's because of the material that this is made out of. The whole thing is made out of that bamboo type material. So it does make it extremely absorbent. Um, so that's great, but I just, I hate stuffing it. So I never reach for it. Um, the second diaper I'm going to show you is a Thirsties. And it looks like this. So it has this type of insert and it, it does snap out. So this actually allows for faster drying time. Um, but I kind of consider it an all-in-one because if you wanted to, you could leave it snapped in and wash it with it snapped in because it basically is like it's sewn in, you know? A con would be the fact that these diapers, they're gonna feel wet all over, all over their bum, all over the front and not just in one area. Um, because the whole diaper is absorbent. So I don't really like that and I don't think my son really likes that. It wakes him up when he feels wet. The third fitted diaper I'm gonna talk about is called a Twinkie Tush Fusion. And this is a, um, like an at-home mama who makes these. This is her company and um, they're really cute diapers. They come in so many cute prints and they're really absorbent. They're great, a lot of people love them. So they look like this. 
They come with this large soaker pad and then this um, second piece that's put together like that and they also snap in and out. So it makes for faster drying time. A con about this one is it is just extremely bulky. I would never put this on my son during the day. Um, I actually got this diaper from someone and um, it's the only one I have. They're adorable and you can actually um, not put a cover on these ones because it's the Twinkie Tush Fusion. Fusion makes it um, semi waterproof, I guess, because it has a layer of fleece sewn inside of it. But if you were to put it on the baby all night long, it definitely would get wet and you would have leaks. So you would want to still put a cover over this. So um, a con to all of the fitted diapers would be that they're extremely expensive. I think this diaper goes for like $50 for one diaper. It is absolutely insane. Um, this Thirsty's diaper is like 21, 26, 21 to $26. And I think this Rumparoo's diaper was $28. So they are very expensive compared to um, say an all-in-one diaper that is like $18 or um, a pocket diaper that is can range from $5 to $10. So I mean, they're expensive, not worth it. Another con for fitted diapers is the fact that you have to use a cover over them. So not only are they really expensive, but now you also need to buy a cover to put over the diapers. So a lot of people, who do use these, they will only have a couple in their stash strictly for nighttime use, so they won't need that many. Um, so really you don't need that many, but it they are expensive. So if you're looking to do cloth diapering for the, um, the cost, for the reason of cost and saving money, you might not wanna buy these. The next diaper I'm gonna talk to you guys about are flats and flower sack towels. Now I'm pairing these together even though they're two different types of materials. Um, I'm pairing them together because they're essentially the same concept. So basically a flat is a large piece of material. Now this, I don't own any flats. This is a flower sack towel um, that you just buy from Walmart or Target in the kitchen section and you just fold it um, to go onto your baby. Yeah. So basically it's, a, it's just a large piece of fabric that you literally fold onto the baby like you would in the olden days. Now the only difference today is the fact that instead of using these, these um, safety pins, you would use something called a snappy. Now, this is um, much safer than I, I think safety pins and much easier to use because you just, when you're securing it, it grabs onto the fabric. Sorry, it's really hard to do on camera. You just grab it and then you secure it there and you pull it down and it'll grab onto the fabric and secure the, um, the diaper closed. Now, I don't use these anymore. I used um, this when uh, my son was a newborn because he wasn't moving. So if you have a wiggly baby, you might not wanna use these because it's really hard to get a diaper on a baby that is moving around and doesn't want to get a diaper put on in the first place. So um, that is definitely a con to these. And then the fact that you have to take the time to fold them, you have to take the time to learn the folds. Um, it's time consuming to do. So that's definitely a con. Um, a pro to this is the fact that they are very absorbent, but again, it's going to be the whole piece of fabric is going to be absorbing um, all of that pee. So the baby may feel wet and might not like the feeling of being wet. So that is definitely a con to this. Um, they dry really fast, they're super trim, and they're extremely cheap. If you're looking for a cost-effective way to cloth diaper your baby, this is definitely the way to go. I can get a pack of three or five um, flower sack towels at Target for like $3. You know, they're extremely um, cost-effective. Another way you can use these is you can just fold them in half and then try fold them. So fold it there and then you fold it again. So you're basically folding it into a long rectangle and I'll actually take these and I'll insert them into my pocket diapers and use it as an, um, 
as an extra little piece of absorbent fabric if I'm running low on um, inserts or something like that. So that's definitely another way that you can use these or you can lay them flat inside of a cover like this. Um, the next one that I'm gonna talk to you about are pre-folds. And pre-folds are a square of fabric with um, extra fabric sewn into the middle of the, of the um, diaper, so to speak, or the pre-fold. So same thing, you would learn how to fold this onto your, onto your baby and you would secure it with a snappy. So it would fold onto the baby like that. And you'd secure it with one of these. This is, I think, a newborn size, so it's really small. But um, yeah. So unless you um, lose this snappy here, um, it could be used over and over and over and over again until you break it or you lose it. Um, and there, it's basically just like a stretchy rubber. So another way that you can use um, pre-folds is you can fold them just like I folded the um, flat before or the flower sack towel. You can fold it into a tri-fold and now you can insert it inside of a pocket diaper or lay it inside of a cover um, just like this. And they're pretty darn absorbent. This is a Grovia one and it's made with 55% um, rayon bamboo and 45% organic cotton. Okay, finally, last but not least, I'm gonna talk to you guys about covers. Now, those last um, items that I talked to you about, they require a cover. There are multiple different types of covers. There are wool covers, there are fleece covers, and there, there's even PUL covers, which is basically um, what I showed you on these diapers. It's the absorbent piece, except there's nothing inside of it except for the, um, the plastic lining. I don't have a cover like that to show you, but I do have a wool cover that I can show you. So um, another type of cover is a fleece cover, and it's basically um, like micro fleece, and a lot of people will make them into um, like pants or shorts or like even pajamas. Um, so they're kind of cool because they can double as that. And I don't understand it in particular why it does not um, leak through the fleece, but it works and people have been using it for years and been doing it for years so um but the only thing the only con with that would be is the fact that um they are a little bit more pricier and um they they need to be bought from like at home stay at home mamas who make them the next type of cover i'm going to talk to you guys about is a wool cover and i actually have two of these so i have a small and a large so you can tell they're pretty big um but they work. So they're made from wool and, or they're made from upcycled uh, wool sweaters and they are absolutely bulletproof. They are a great nighttime solution if you want to use these throughout the night. They will not leak whatsoever. Um, you don't have to wash them for two to four weeks because they have some sort of like antibacterial properties in them. Um, so they don't hold on to stink and they don't um, they don't allow for like um, bacteria buildup. So that's really great about the wool covers. Um, but however, a con is the fact that they are very expensive and you do have to lanolize them. What lanolizing basically means is you take this, um, it's like a solution, like a paste almost, and you um, put this into the water and you melt the paste um, into the warm water and you basically rub it and work it into the, um, inner fabrics of the um of the um, wool so it'll make it um waterproof basically so you do have to lanolize it after every time you wash it um and that is why it's it's used because you don't have to wash them for two to four weeks so um a lot of people will even go a month without washing them um because they're switching between multiple different ones um after you use it you're just gonna turn it inside out and lay it out to dry. So, um, because the inside will be a little bit damp, um, so you'll just lay it out to dry and that's that. Um, another thing I don't really like about these though um, are the fact that they're pull-on, so they're a little bit harder to get onto a small baby. 
Um, however, if you have a toddler, they, they could be great because the toddler can just pull them up like pull-ups. Now you know all about the different types of diapers and what they require, we can finally talk about the inserts for pocket diapers or even the all-in-one um, where that has a pocket in the back and whatnot. So there are many different types of inserts. However, I'm only going to talk to you about a couple and I will mention their pros and cons, of course. So the first one is microfiber and it looks like this it's just white it looks like um, any normal kitchen microfiber or um, even like a car cleaning microfiber rag except it's sewn into this little shape right here um, what's great about microfiber is it absorbs liquid extremely fast it just soaks it right up and it has extraordinary wicking so because of that it cannot go onto the baby's bum so you cannot Put this directly on their skin, lay it inside of a, a cover and put it onto the baby. You must use microfiber inside of a, um, a pocket diaper that has a lining in between the um, insert and the baby because it will cause a rash because it's just going to pull all that moisture from the baby's bum and dry out their butt and make it red and irritated. So, um, However, there are some companies who will make inserts where it's microfiber and that it'll be a fleece material on top and then it'll be absorbent or it'll be microfiber on the bottom so that you can put up against the baby's skin as long as it's the fleece side that's going against their skin and the microfiber will be on the bottom the second type of insert i'm going to talk to you about is this it is called charcoal bamboo and essentially all it is is on the inside it is like it's a couple layers of um microfiber on the inside and on the outside it's charcoal bamboo this can go against the baby's skin because it's not microfiber on the on the outside um some cons to this is it absorbs fast but it absorbs slower than microfiber so you might want to pair this with microfiber in a pocket diaper which is what i do and i put the microfiber side up inside the pocket because you don't want it to touch the baby's skin and this will be on the bottom layers. So when the baby goes to the bathroom, the microfiber is gonna catch all of that pee and then it'll slowly seep into the under layers. Um, and then this way when the baby pees again, there's nothing in the microfiber because it's on that second layer. It'll catch on the microfiber again and then seep into the next layer. So I hope that made sense. Um, the third type of material I'm gonna talk to you about is um, hemp and hemp is extremely absorbent. So even though it's extremely, extremely absorbent, you still wanna pair it with something like microfiber, just like you did with the charcoal bamboo because it absorbs extremely slow. It absorbs even slower than the charcoal bamboo and even slower than um, pure bamboo. It, but however, it is just extremely, extremely absorbent and it's super trim. Like, this is so tiny compared to this so it's very thin um another con would be that the sides kind of get wrinkled but it doesn't really matter because you're going to throw it inside of the pocket anyways and it's um it's also soft and it can go against the baby's skin if you wanted to if your baby isn't such a heavy flower when they go and they pee and they pee more slowly this can um, catch all of that. And then finally, bamboo. Um, I would put bamboo in between, so I'd put microfiber, charcoal bamboo, and then bamboo before the hemp because it is, um, it's absorbent and it absorbs a lot. However, it doesn't absorb as, the, as much as the, um, the hemp, but it absorbs faster than a hemp. So the last diaper that I kind of want to talk about is a bonus diaper um, and I'm calling it a bonus because this is geared more for babies who are ready to be potty trained. Now this is um, a diaper from Ecoable. It looks like this and it has the side snaps and you could snap it and when the baby is old enough to know how to pull on their pants or pull down their pants, this is great because it has the ability to be pulled up and down like pull-ups. It's kind of like underwear. So you can just pull them up onto the baby, pull them down when you're ready to take them to the potty. Um, and that's that. So this particular one um, on the inside, you can get a snap-in insert. So it's, I don't know why it snaps in. It's not gonna go anywhere, but you can just snap it in. And um, 
or if you don't need it because, because your toddlers get becoming really good at not having accidents, you could just put this on them and it does come with an, a sewn in very, very thin layer of, um, I believe this is um, bamboo and cotton. And then another great thing about this is it could be used as a swim diaper. So you would just take this insert out and put this on the baby as is and you can even use it as a swim diaper. So I love that. And just like the one size diapers, um, the potty training pants do come um, in two sizes. So this is the larger size for, okay, so this is the larger size, um, size two for 15 to 35 pounds. I got this size because I want it to last and my son is about 25 pounds, so he's right in the middle. So I do have to snap it onto the middle rise setting. Um, however, you could even use it on a 15 pound baby. Their first size I believe is for like eight to 15 pounds. Or no, I think it's like eight to 25 pounds. So that is the potty training pants. And I do put these on my son quite a bit um, because with this, even just this and the diaper, it's actually pretty absorbent because this is 100% bamboo. So hopefully I've answered all the possible questions that you guys could have about cloth diapers um, and the different types of them and inserts and whatnot. If you have any more questions, please comment them down below or if you have any more ideas of what you wanna know about cloth diapers, comment them down below and I'll make another video talking about them. In the next video, I'm gonna be talking about what to do with the diapers after they've been soiled and where they go, how you store them and how to wash the diapers. So stay tuned for that and thank you for watching.